We are going to experience some of Japan's craziest roller coasters today. Oh. <laughs> We're at Fuji Q Highland. You can hear the coasters, it's loud. We're celebrating Becca and Anna's 14th birthday. They brought one of their good friends with them. And we are gonna try some of these crazy record-breaking coasters. I went on that. You went on that, huh, Sarah? No doubt about it, Fuji Q Highland is one of the world's wildest amusement parks, and today we're gonna see why. Saisho wa Yaru? Yeah, I'm gonna do this first. Yeah, I chose. Really? You don't actually have to pay to enter Fuji Q. Anyone can go in and enjoy the shops and food. It's all Fuji bread. Fuji bread? How, how about that? Look! Whoa! That's awesome! Sarah. Do you remember coming here a couple years ago? We tried the little rides and you went on, you went on that crazy one right there. I still can't believe you did that, Sarah. But if you want to ride on any of the rides, you'll have to either pay per ride or just get a regular day pass, which is what we're all going to do. Okay, so the line was super long. So we decided, well, let's go online and try to buy them. So we were able to, through a booking agency, so we actually got it cheaper than if you just buy it at the counter. Then you have to print out your ticket, but come to find out you can actually buy your ticket just at these little kiosks too. So if you come and the line is long, just go to the little kiosk. Get your face registered, Anna. Yep. Here comes Sarah. Scan your ticket, register your face. I've been scanned. All right. Fuji Q sets high expectations for its park right from the entrance with the imposing Fujiyama ride. But first, we're gonna try one that is even crazier. That's, we're looking at that one. It's an Ica stands at 76 meters or 249 feet and does things no other coaster before it had done. What a ride to start our day here. A large sign warns you before getting in line for this intense ride. Of note, people over 54 years of age cannot ride. Eh, Janaika. Becca, how do you say this one? Do you know? How is it? <laughs> it's got a gold record. While we waited in line for this record breaking coaster, Mama Chun took Joshua and Sarah on some rides just right for them. Okay, their first ride of the day is swing. Your shoes won't fall off. You excited? <laughs> Woo! I was committed to riding this with the girls, but I started expecting the most intense ride of my life. The girls, however, didn't seem to be phased at all. In the meantime, Joshua and Sarah got not just another ride in, but several. <laughs> From Thomas Land, Ruth could see the crazy ride we were about to go on and pray for us. Our well-being, safety, consciousness, <laughs> just kidding. Kind of. Okay, Thomas Land is built so cutely. As Joshua and Sarah enjoyed a big drop of their own, we were getting ready for ours. Did you have fun? At the station, the floor dropped out and we were on our way backwards up the huge hill with no option but to ride. There are no cameras allowed on the ride, but on Fuji Q Highland's official YouTube channel, you can see first person videos of the ride experience like this one. The ride seems to go up forever, leaving you to ponder all your life decisions that brought you to this point. Since you can't see where the top is, you keep going until the fateful moment when everything changes. 
The coaster tilts your body forward as you enter free fall pointing straight at the ground. A few moments later you are flipped 180 degrees in your chair as you go barreling through the first big arch with another inversion in your chair. Soon you head through the coolest barrel roll I've ever experienced as the track and your chair inverts simultaneously and you end up looking at Mount Fuji. This all happens so fast it's a major blur. My eyes were glued open, trying to take in everything as it went flying by. It's hard for your brain to keep up with everything as the chairs and the coaster dance around the track. I've never experienced anything like this before, and before you know it, the ride is coming to an end, and you're left wondering what it was that you just experienced. I have never done a roller coaster quite like that. I was closing my eyes the whole time. It was so scary. You couldn't even scream. Like, <laughs> it just like turns you all over the place and backwards and forwards looking straight down on the drop. It's it's crazy. It's crazy. You can see the ground. You feel like you're like gonna die. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Afterwards, it was time for lunch before we met up with the rest of the family. Oh, it's so cute. You girls are sharing your food. <laughs> After lunch, it was time for even bigger thrills. It's the water ride. The water ride's gonna go. You don't want to get too close to this water ride. Oh. <laughs> they got drenched. It's an absolutely gorgeous day here. Perfect fall weather, fall colors, and all these thrills. Well, let me tell you what, there are some thrilling roller coasters here. We wanted to find a ride that the whole family could do together, which is actually quite a challenging thing to do at Fuji Q since the rides are either for kids or super intense. There doesn't seem to be much of a middle ground. We ended up opting for the new ride Zokong because it seemed like something the whole family could do together. 3.1 G's is pretty decent. <laughs> yeah, no flips and it doesn't go very high. It just goes fast. <laughs> It's like you're riding a motorcycle, it looks like. And then it goes backwards, from what I can tell. Zokon loads you up and shoots you off. You power out of the station and around the track, left and right, up and down, going all over the place. It might not be tall, but it is still Fuji Q intense, judging from all the screams coming from this ride. When the coaster reaches the end of the track, it goes up and then goes backwards with a number of surprises still up its sleeve. The line was a two hour wait, but after waiting an hour in line, the ride suddenly shut down and they sent us all away. It went from Zokon to Zamen. They suspended service, gave us tickets that we're supposed to come back and we could do it later, so we'll see. With the challenge of finding a ride for all of us to do, we landed upon one that on the surface just looked like a simple swing ride, but nothing was simple about it. Oh, it lifts you up. And then it starts spinning as it lifts you. Oh my. FujiQ has a way of making even a simple swing ride terrifying. Yeah, I bet it is, dude. That's way up there. That's so high. What do you think? You want to do it? And I am. <laughs> and you are? Okay. What are we waiting for? We're waiting for them to go on the giant swing looking thing. We've been waiting a long time, haven't we? It feels we? like 30 hours. It's been about an hour and a half. Okay, they're getting on. I see the... As if just hanging from a chair isn't scary enough, the ride begins spinning quite fast as it pulls you to heights that not even birds want to fly at. Sarah and Mama Chun decided to stay firmly with their feet on the ground. They are 
way the yay up there. That is just hard and hard up. This is one ride I couldn't wait to finish. I focused on breathing normally as the ride began to slow down for the finish. Of all the rides here, this may be the most terrifying. I'm gonna go meet them. The crazy roller coaster was not as bad as I thought it would be, and this was just as bad as I thought it would be. <laughs> Swinging around in the air, the wind would hit you and you like twist sideways, and you're in this tiny little chair. It is freaky. Oh man. Do, daijoubu. How was it? Good. Good? Okay. Was it freakier or just as, like what you thought? Just like I thought. Oh my. Joshua didn't seem to be phased in the least, but now it's time for Fuji Q's iconic ride, and I knew things were really about to get amped up. Oh my goodness. Get what outside. did you guys get? The that, longest. The longest potato in Japan. That thing is crazy. Have you ever seen a potato that big, Sarah? Daddy wants to try some too. Sarah, what do you think? Mm. Okay, we're gonna do Fujiyama. That's the super tall one. We have the priority pass because it's too long. That's right. Two hours wait, and we do not want to wait that long. <laughs> Having bought the fast pass, we immediately got on the next ride, and soon we're heading up the crazy first hill. When Fujiyama opened in July of 1996, at 79 meters or 259 feet, it was the tallest roller coaster in the world. A simple lap bar and seat belt is all that keeps you in the coaster. The chair you sit in only comes up mid back, which adds to the insanity of the whole thing. You really feel like you might come out of this coaster. The iconic view and non-stop action of this coaster makes it an absolute legend. That one, if you never tried it, you have to try it before they decommission it because it's getting older and it's really rough, but it is an intense coaster. Maybe the most intense one here. What uh, do you think? No, uh, no, no, no. Not no, more intense no, than no, the other ones? Uh, really? Mm. Oh man, I thought it was more intense than that one. It's intense, super intense. All of these rides here are mega intense. At this point, I decided to let the girls do their own thing while I caught up with the rest of the family. It was time to bring things down a notch. <laughs> what a goof. I got a crack at Mount Fuji. It's been clear. We've had not a single cloud on Fuji. I know, awesome. <laughs> As the not so little little rider kids got in another ride, we hoped to be able to ride Zolkon yet today, but it was not meant to be. The ride stayed closed for the rest of the day, but that didn't stop the older girls from waiting for one last adrenaline pumping okay. ride. Where's Anna? Oh, Anna. All right. I saw. <laughs> oh, dude. You wanted to do it, didn't you? Yeah, you're not tall enough, are you? 
Yeah. Not yet. You will be soon, I'm sure. Sarah, what was your favorite thing today that you did? I want mine. Oh, do you? Yeah, it's a huge swing. Not the, that one. No, a big one. The really tall swing? Yeah. That was your favorite? Yeah. That one over. Oh, yeah, behind the Ferris wheel. Boy, that was that was crazy, dude. I did that with you. That was nuts. What was your favorite ride? Fujiyama. Fujiyama was your favorite? Yeah. Oh, wow. Even though we got in a number of rides, we still have not tried three of Fuji-Q's best coasters, two of them being closed today. But we still have one last rider family tradition to take care of before leaving. Do you know what it is? What a fun day it was. A thrilling day at Fuji-Q. Wow. What did we find there, Sarah? It says, let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. All right, Joshua, I need to be able to see you. Okay. Becca, you gonna get up in there? Souvenir pictures are great, but it's not a souvenir picture. Do you know yet? It's our souvenir magnet. Which one do you guys think? Maybe this one, the Fujiyama one? I like that. Or the Eka? Oh, that's huge. That is huge. Eh, Fujiyama. Fujiyama. With the magnet chosen, it was time for a quick bite to eat at one of the most unique 7-Elevens I've seen. How about this 7-Eleven right here? <laughs> Kyo wa? Tanushikata? Huh? <laughs> Well, it's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. I'm worn out. <laughs> worn out. And now time to go home. Thrill us some more and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you next time on Life in Japan.